The current Honda CB350 is one of those motorcycles that we wish was accessible in more countries. It originally appeared in India, where it is manufactured, and then in Japan as the Rabaj GB350. The Honda CB350 is about as cute and friendly as factory motorcycles come. Its 348.4cc single-cylinder engine produces 21 horsepower and 30 newton, and it includes contemporary features such as LED illumination. Even if it is adorable, there is always potential for improvement. Mark Huang of Taiwan's Mark Motorcycles has created a stunning assortment of bolt-on components for the Honda CB350 and GB350. So keep watching. The OEM fuel tank and side covers were kept, but the Honda's modern-looking fenders were removed. Mark created new fiber-reinforced polymer fenders in the style of a classic street scrambler. The fenders come with all of the necessary mounting brackets, and the rear fender has a sleek Lucas-style taillight. Mark's Honda CB350 also got new spoked wheels with alloy rims in place of the original metal hoops. They're 19 inches in the front and 18 inches in the back, with Shinko Dual Sport tires. The factory headlamp is replaced by a 5.5 inches bait style bowl, with a clever Koso Speedo position right above it. In addition, the cockpit has high, laid-back handlebars with vintage-style switches, updated grips, and a single underslung mirror. Mark carefully retained the bike's original handlebar clamp, a branded element that evokes the designs on antique Hondas. Meanwhile, a small reverse cone muffler connects to the stock header via a custom-made connecting pipe. Other upgrades include new rear shocks and turn signals put on bolt-on brackets. A seat that appears bespoke rather than off-the-shelf perches atop the CB350. It is available in either leather or a synthetic fabric. Mark's mate, Jeffrey, completed the construction with an eye-catching 1970s-inspired paint job. Apart from the green one, there is also a black and gray livery and lower handlebars, but the rest of the spec sheet is the same. And with its more subdued tank graphics, it could easily be mistaken for a neatly restored classic. That's all.